The moon hung low in the midnight sky, casting an eerie glow over the desolate playground. The swings creaked gently in the wind, their chains rattling like the distant whispers of forgotten children. A chill ran down my spine as I stepped closer to the decaying structure that once brimmed with laughter and joy. The memories of carefree days seemed distant now, replaced by an inexplicable sense of foreboding. My friends and I had gathered here, on the outskirts of town, fueled by teenage bravado and curiosity. We had heard the tales of Bloody Mary, the vengeful spirit who was said to appear in mirrors when summoned. Some said she was a restless soul seeking revenge, while others believed her to be a manifestation of their own guilt and fears. Regardless of the stories, we dared each other to summon her, desperate to prove our courage in the face of the unknown. I stood before the mirror, my breath fogging up the glass in the chilly night air. My heart raced like a wild stallion, and I could feel the beads of sweat forming on my brow. Beside me, my friends exchanged uneasy glances, their anticipation mingled with trepidation. Come on, just do it already, Jake taunted, his voice laced with nervous energy. Taking a deep breath, I spoke her name three times, my voice trembling with a mixture of fear and disbelief. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. For a moment, nothing happened. The room remained still, the silence punctuated only by the sound of our collective breathing. Then, slowly, the temperature dropped further, and an icy breeze swept through the room. The mirror before me seemed to shimmer, its surface warping and distorting as if reality itself was unraveling. And then, I saw her. A figure emerged from the depths of the mirror, her form obscured by darkness. But her eyes. Those eyes glowed with a malevolent intensity, fixing on me with an unrelenting gaze. My heart pounded in my chest, threatening to burst free from its confines. In an instant, the room transformed. The walls were no longer adorned with peeling paint, but were replaced with macabre scenes of violence and agony. Tortured souls writhed in eternal torment, their anguished screams echoing through the chamber. I stumbled back, my feet tangling in the wreckage of broken furniture that hadn't been there moments before. Help me. My voice was a desperate plea as I reached out to my friends, but they seemed frozen in place their faces contorted in expressions of pure terror. The figure before me began to take shape, her form becoming more defined with every passing second. She wore a tattered, bloodstained gown that billowed around her like a shroud of darkness. Long, tangled hair hung in disarray, obscuring much of her face, save for her eyes, those eyes that seemed to pierce through my very soul. I tried to run, to escape the nightmare unfolding before me, but my legs refused to cooperate. It was as if an invisible force held me in place, a captive audience to the horrors that unfolded. The air grew thick with the stench of decay and death, and the walls seemed to close in on me. The tortured souls that adorned them reached out with skeletal hands, their bony fingers brushing against my skin, sending waves of revulsion through my body. The symphony of screams and wails intensified, drowning out my own panicked breathing, and then, Bloody Mary moved, gliding toward me with an otherworldly grace. Her eyes never left mine, her gaze penetrating the depths of my mind, exposing every hidden fear and secret. I could feel her power, her anger, her thirst for retribution. Please, I didn't mean to summon you, I stammered, my voice barely audible above the cacophony of suffering. Her lips curled into a sinister smile revealing teeth stained with the blood of countless victims. Her voice echoed in my mind, a chilling whisper that reverberated through my very being. You called, and I have come. Time seemed to stretch into eternity as I stood before her, a pawn in her twisted game. The room pulsed with a malevolent energy, and the walls closed in, suffocating me with their oppressive presence. I felt the darkness seeping into me, as if her essence was infiltrating my soul tainting it with her vengeful desires. And then, just as quickly as it had begun, it ended. The room returned to its dilapidated state, the mirror's surface reflecting only my own terrified expression. My friends blinked back to awareness, confusion and fear etched across their faces. I stumbled back from the mirror, my heart racing as I gasped for air. 
The playground was once again a place of silent desolation, the moon casting an eerie glow over the rusted swings. The legend of Bloody Mary had become a chilling reality, a nightmarish journey into the depths of the supernatural. As I stood there, shaken and broken, I realized that some mysteries should remain untouched, and some terrors should never be summoned from the shadows.